cucu cururiru di cururiru cucu cururiru di cururiru cucu cururiru oh fodil hai pyasa ab samajh bhi jao mere dil ki bhasha वरना दिल करेगा एक नया तमाशा तू मेरी जिंदगी है समझ भी जा ओ ओ ओ ओ फो दिल है प्यासा कहना क्या था कह गया ये बेवजह का हम तुम्हारे दिल न जी सके जरा सा तू मेरी जिंदगी तुमसे ये उत्तजा है वो फिर से नाम जो हमारे संग हुआ है बस एक प्यार ही तो है जो दरमिया है तुम इस मेरी ये ये जिंदगी है प्यार के हमने समझ लिया ये जो प्यार ना हो जिंदगी बेवजह है बस एक तुमसे अब सारी ये चिंता है तुम ही ने मेरी ये ये जिंदगी सवार दी हो फो दिल है प्यासा अब समझ भी जाओ मेरे दिल की भाषा वरना दिल करेगा एक नया तमाशा तू मेरी जिंदगी है ये ये चुचु चु चुरूरी रूरी चूरी चु 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 चुरूरी रूरी रूरु चु 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 artist in the mood but i think he's got me in the mood um welcome to the artist allow thank you interviews thank you so much i don't know why i should i should call it interviews because it's just yeah. a conversation or yeah, a yeah. chat yeah that's sunil bhatia and uh, he's been with us you've been with us for quite a while yes i uh, i think i was one of the first artists who had given their songs uh, when you had started up around 9 9 and 1/2 10 years ago yeah 9 and 1/2 9 and 1/2 yeah i, I remember yeah. so uh, and it was quite a welcome break i must say <laughs> that is so sweet and i'm glad that you're still with us and yes. you're still releasing new music yes. but i have to say that song reminded me of three idiots <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably you know that it gives you uh, that feel of yeah like, actually the movie was uh, uh, made by tikmanshi dholia right. we call him tishu bhai right. and uh, we used to go hang out in his house वो पार्टीज इन बर्थडे हो गया ऐसे ही बुला लिया सो वाइल जैमिंग आई वन सैंग दिस टू हिम एंड ही जस्ट सेट फिर से गाओ यू नो एंड ही रिकॉर्डेड इट दिस चूचू इज बेसिकली इट वॉज सपोज टू बी द गिटार यू नो काइंड ऑफ अ हुक लाइन एंड वाइल रिकॉर्डिंग इन सेट ऑफ डूइंग टू टू आई जस्ट सेट चूचू सो ही नेम द सॉन्ग लाइक दैट एंड एज द मूवी वॉज इट वॉज लाइक एन ओल्ड वर्ल्ड काइंड ऑफ अ मूवी नॉट not that old right. but uh, you know the movie had kind of a mystery and an old world charm so somehow it fitted in that the tune yeah wow yeah, yeah. but that's and you written it and composed it yourself i had yes i have composed it uh, i had written it okay. and i had sung it okay. but eventually as per uh, the movie script okay. you know uh, sandeep nath who's uh, okay. a known lyricist okay so he he had done the songs for this movie so they brought him in and they modified the lyrics okay um as for the situation so that's how it was and uh, yeah. sunil what's your background where do you come from have you been in mumbai uh, yes uh, i hail from the city of alhabad which is now called prayagraj oh really okay yeah i'm See, that's a geography lesson <laughs> yeah i'm from okay. alhabad yeah uh, um i was broadly working i still am working in a full time job but right. uh, i still remember uh, uh, it's been many years it's been way too long actually yeah. uh since i've been wanting to do something and i've been doing it in my own way so i landed in mumbai in 2001 okay. 
and before that i remember i was but sent was that for music or what only music it's oh, like okay. i'm just one of those regular uh, uh, artists you know aspiring artists who just land here they quit their job okay i landed here i was with a cousin for 10 days and then you know just on my own no place to stay and you know okay. so gradually i was working as an assistant music director for a couple of months wow Mm, assisting um, a, a musician called Rajesh Roy, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then um, after nine months, uh, you know, it's it's it, it. Bollywood is not an easy piece of cake, <laughs> sure. and uh, and I have also done um, my bit of going to every record label. Mm -hmm. So I still remember. Uh, did, did you do that with a demo? I mean, original work. Or yes, original work. I had uh, I have done original work, which I had made a demo in a cassette. Mm -hmm. and uh, i have i went to every label you name the company uh, so uh, and uh, uh, yes i met in some places the anr head in some places whoever was the concerned person that hey you know mm -hmm. hear my music in some cases some reference here and there yeah. but you know i was very raw but this is all i wanted to do right. uh, so they practically obviously there was no breakthrough sure. in any ways because uh, interesting incident i remember uh, i'll take the name of the company also that time magna sound i went i went with my uh, demo and my guitar and all that and the first thing they said have you got photographs okay. and that was a shocker for me i mean really? i yeah they said uh, photograph i said photograph ka gaane se kya lena you know they said no you don't understand the industry right. people should first look at you, you yeah. and then they'll decide whether they want to hear you i said okay that's a lesson for me you know yeah yeah so uh, yeah so, I, mean, i mean at that time when you came down yeah. the television medium was so strong which yes. meant it had to be visually you Up had to visually i mean that's what has become with youtube now yes yes uh, but uh, and i understand it because back then i was with channel v and yes. you know i used to we we pretty much were popularizing artists based on video content Absolutely. or we used to do interviews then as well yeah 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 so i understand where the label came from but i'm sure as an artist you were like hello i have a voice why should it matter yeah, right yeah why should it matter and yeah. then uh, i mean what what happened was uh, uh, what you're rightly saying is around 15 years ago uh, till probably 2005 Um I still remember we would see independent artists on TV yeah. at least till the MTV days. It was called indie pop then. Indie pop yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. Uh, till some time all that was there and yeah. uh, and uh, people knew ki aise artists hain even my family members would know you know yeah. ki ha aisa singer right. hai right. you know. Right. And those songs were playing day in and day out. Yeah. yeah. But uh, somewhere I mean I feel that maybe when I came here it was maybe you call it timing or what and uh, you know uh, also one more thing was happening things were becoming a little on the digital side yes. so uh, maybe the sound of music was changing yeah and uh, uh, i think f by and large it's film music which has captured everything sure. and uh, yeah. thanks to people like you <laughs> that uh, you know uh, no I, i think you should credit the company because you know, yeah uh, you yeah, means the company yeah, 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 yeah. The, just having the vision to to you know set up something which didn't even exist at that time yeah, absolutely uh, yeah. i think that was something that uh, you know unless you have the infrastructure and the resources to yeah, really yeah. bring it to life because yeah. an idea is just an idea otherwise absolutely and 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 you know uh, i i'm not sure i mean i can only speak for myself but i'm i think every artist goes through some period of confusion you know you don't yeah. know what am i supposed to do yeah. because when i went to uh, i remember a very funny incident i had called up a uh, a legendary film <laughs> music uh, music director okay. uh, from the yesterdays and very funny incidents i have had you know i, I would just us uh, samay the mobile bhi shayad nahi tha mere paas to ek red color ka jo pco box tha i would take coins of 1 1 rupee mm. and there was a directory of musicians and film walas so i would just tang and put it and this gentleman picked it up mm. and i said ki main music mein kuch karna chahta hu to the first thing you know i guess people uh, somewhere they're hardwired they they don't understand what is the meaning of an indie artist mm. you know mm. and uh, so kya ki aap kya karte hain aap composing karte hain ya aap gaate hain kya karte hain to abhi maine kaha ki main to likhta bhi hu gaata bhi hu compose bhi karta hu those were early days where yeah, a composer yeah. was not meant to be a singer yeah i mean yeah. and i was again it was a learning process yeah. for me then i said aur main uh, guitar matlab bajata bhi hu he very blankly told me aapka fir kuch nahi ho sakta no. <laughs> yeah he said he said aapka kuch nahi ho sakta hai. and uh, then oh, uh, for a second i was quiet and uh, then he explained it made sense i mean i think he was talking from the perspective of bollywood 
So because you know things are fixed, it's it's yeah. everybody has. No, a... I mean at that time, in fact, that's why I remember even Shankar S. R. Loy. Although Shankar was a singer, yes, yes, you know he would very rarely do the songs in the film. Yeah, it yeah. was only I think after you know Himesh Reshmiya and Vishal Shekhar yes, and Sri yes. and all yeah, yeah. started doing it so regularly. You started hearing more of Shankar also yeah, in yeah. his own compositions. Right, uh, <coughs> but I think. Uh, you know, they were different. They yeah, were yeah. like, if you're a composer, you are a composer. You, yeah, know, you yeah. can't be a singer, you can't be a lyricist. <sighs> huh, so. uh, those were things. I mean, I think even Sanjay Leela Bansali kind of broke the norm saying, okay, I can be a director, but the music director as well. Yeah, you have you those know? combos. You yeah. have actor, singers now, and right. <laughs> you yeah. have yeah. Direct, <laughs> You have music director, lyricist like Mithun. Yeah. Right. He's a lyricist come director. Right. And, but tell yeah. me, Sunil, uh, what's your educational background? I mean, what did you do uh, well, I, academically? I, I, Academically, academically, whatever. <laughs> I I did my schooling from Allahabad, St. Okay. Joseph's College, okay. and then um, for two years again I was in a very perturbed state, you know, because those days yehi tha ki beta doctor ban jao, engineer ban jao, yeah. IS ban jao, you know, those kind of things which I and it kind of uh, it was getting in my head and. Uh, and uh, uh, but then I eventually uh, joined hotel management okay. and I went far away from North India to Chennai. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. I said, I'm going to go to the So that's when you left Allahabad? Yeah, I left. Uh, technically, I left Allahabad and then I was working for various resorts okay. all over the country. Okay. Uh, but wahan pe bhi bas, but that was a good period of my life because for three years I was in hill stations like Uti, Kodai Canal, nice. Puttaparthi. Yeah. So it was a nice place where did you, you get a, did you get a chance to kind of you know test your music there or no there see what happens is eventually uh, what I realized was that I mean the industry is here वो धरती पे आना पड़ेगा you know पहाड़ में बैठ के आप वहाँ से भी मैं demo भेजता था मैं भेजता था I still remember I remember the companies where I would send demos I had made my first demo incidentally with uh, Amit Kilam from uh, Indian Ocean Indian Ocean yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I think before they signed up at Times Music, there was a company called Sun Music. So, okay. the gentleman Mr. Naresh Bhatia was somewhat related okay. to me. So, uh, okay. so then I would hang around at their uh, place at Khujur Lane. Okay. So, uh, and then Amit Kilam had done my first demo. And then when I was in Agra, mm -hmm. then I had done another demo. Mm -hmm. So, that is the one which I carried uh, to Mumbai. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say to that? Uh, from that to okay i'll just see yeah the, uh, you know i have a particular kind of music in my mind i call it i, I someday maybe i'll do it i call it mythological rock <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's like Okay, it goes like this. Just a second, please. So had to last too long. I know one and one is two, but then it makes me so unsure. Baby, is a knock your door. If we gotta stay this way, tell me, should we be far away? Still a long, long way from home. Da 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 da. Oh. Mohe 
सतावे बल मिंदिया चुरावे मिंदिया में आवे मोए संग पीछे पीछे मन घट आवे संग नी सखे संग रास न चावे सतावे बल Go something like that. Yeah, very soothing voice. Very very soothing voice. Yes. So the intention was, you know, like we hear ragas and right. would you this kind of bhasha, you know. Uh, so uh, I've always been, uh, I would say, enamored or you know by yeah. all this past history you're talking about. So so it's something in that space combined with something now. So, so. are you doing a day job or? You know? Yes, I do a day job. I'm I'm from the hotel industry. Right. and uh, what happened was uh, when i was in music when i came here for about 9 months mm-hmm. uh, i realized that it wasn't easy to sustain you know so normally what happens is i artists either they take a plunge yes <laughs> uh, they go through a roller coaster ride in any case yes. and uh, but somewhat i i mean if if i were to say i i guess i'm the safest no, i've taken the safest you bet know, your story is pretty similar to mine i was i started my career as a singer in bombay right right and uh, i unfortunately couldn't sustain it and then you know i decided to i really didn't know what to do because Correct. i landed up taking up a job which had nothing to do with music right. and i died <laughs> so yeah, yeah. i met somebody who actually told me you know if you're so much in love with music then why don't you look at the other side of music and if you're not an artist and uh, that's how you know i joined channel v yeah, and yeah. then you know I, i'm here doing what i'm doing at least you're associated musician yeah though. i think yeah, at yeah. the end of the day it was about uh, just being with music you right. know and just being able to do of course i've gone beyond music now i'm doing so many other things mm, yeah, but yeah. you're right you know i mean i think you've got to be practical about it and right, you've got right. to be able to sustain yourself to then follow your dream absolutely you know, so yeah. so that was the the idea that at least let me sustain myself so it's been yeah uh, 18 years <laughs> and now i guess uh, yeah i've been doing my stuff i, I would go for piano classes i would right. go for wo sab karte hain now i i'm learning indian classical music nice. after right. long time yeah. I, so uh, so that's kind of helping me stay in the zone so right. uh, uh, yeah the job is still there <laughs> and what's what's been your high moments in music Uh, you mentioned earlier when we were talking off camera mm-hmm. uh, you have one of your songs in a film yeah that was that sahib bibi or gangster right. the first song which i right. sang right and then uh, that was in two versions one was by debojit saha right uh, and the second version there was a second version also but uh, it was like a party version okay okay so and then uh, another movie came called love you sonio right Yeah. And so in that they took they took the whole song the song and the lyrics okay. and Shan had sung it yeah okay. so it uh, but the interesting part is about these both these songs is that uh, you know which is the kind of a uh, i would say it, it it kind of creates something in my mind is that uh, these songs were picked up and the situation was created for them nice so, so you know nice. that is where an indie artist i feel gets somewhere uh, gets stuck because uh, yeah. you give your composition and then it it gets molded the lyrics get mm-hmm. changed uh, you know the, the arrangement would change uh, the singer obviously gets changed so you know uh, so if you were given a choice one day to you know make it big in bollywood right or you know continue to do what you're doing or basically have the freedom to create what you want which would you choose well i think about it every day and i mean the very fact that i have not done anything or not even tried doing anything in bollywood for the last 6 uh, years is is the very reason that you know i i've been looking at things very objectively and and just trying to figure out where will i fit in I, what you're saying is absolutely right if you get into bollywood essentially it it is either as a music composer or yeah. as a singer playback yes. singer right so what happens is uh, or as a performer Ha ah, okay as yeah. a performer yes yes yeah. uh, obviously the the multiplication factor is enormous 
I mean, one song, one Bollywood movie coming coupled with the name of the actor and the right. director, and all, it's it's like phenomenal. The reach, uh, the kind of followers you might get on social media is is quite phenomenal. Uh, somewhere, but I feel is that uh, once you get into Bollywood, you might just get labeled as a Bollywood singer. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as a uh, independent artist, I feel a little more. I feel absolutely free uh, right. because the uh, the creative. Uh, space that I mean it's in my control you know right. all the music that I've been doing um, um, it, it's everything right from the arrangement uh, to the singing to the lyrics uh, to the scale in which I want to sing everything you know and even right. the artwork it's in my control so I somehow feel that uh, I mean and I always believed uh, I would wanted to do something as an indie artist but that doesn't mean that if opportunities are there right. and if people feel that you know um, my voice is suiting the character. That is also a very important thing, you know. No, I think today you also have a lot of songs that don't necessarily have to be voiced for right, right. the character, right? I mean, it's like, uh -huh. uh, I mean, a lot of songs have been made as a end credits or yes, as a promotional. Yes. Video. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the kind of genre of music that you create, you know, is 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 got a. It, it kind of gives a story, or it, it has the ability to just be uh, you know a part of the journey that the absolutely. story has absolutely but let's hear another one yeah okay <laughs> i'll uh, what i'll do is i'll sing the first song that i had given to artist alone okay. so it's called uh, jaane kya hoga mm -hmm. so i'll sing a few lines from that sure <clears throat> जब तू मान जाएगी मेरा ये रास्ता फिर से खुल जाएगा डूबा डूबा ये दिल फिर जाग जाएगा योमा एज योमा गाइड इन स्टोर यू कैन से करती हो तो दिन आ जाता तुमसे ही मेरा मिलने में है भला जाने क्या होगा हम दोनों मिलेंगे क्या I went once to my school teacher. Okay. In 1987. Okay. <laughs> so it's 32 years. So and then, wow. uh, but uh, and then there was another teacher in school. Uh, he was more of a classical guitarist. So I remember these two people. I used to go, uh, just go to see how they play. So. Uh, Otherwise, you're a self learner. Yeah, self learner. And in wow. those days, what happened was, if you remember, uh, I guess you're from the last century also. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not old it's 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 a pleasure and it's uh, uh, amazing that we were part of the 80s and yeah, that's 70s and that's 90s true. Yeah. so i remember uh, 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 we used to get song books with chords yes and very quickly uh, koi bhi song any song used to come i would rush to the bookstore and i would get the chord book yeah and then there were books with chords and there was a legendary book of the beatles yes so with all their songs and chords so these have been my inspirations uh, uh, all along mm. uh, so i would listen to them and i would try um, picking up those chords and singing them yeah. so, so how much time do you get to really practice the guitar on a daily basis yeah i i, I practically do it daily i mean if not daily then maybe on on a stretch i yeah, sometimes I'm asking you this question because it's been 
one that's one of the things like I've never been able to I, I was learning the piano for a short time. Right, right. But you know, I really look up to people who can play an instrument. Yeah. yeah. Like there's this lady called Shruti Bhave from uh, okay. Indiva. Okay. And she plays the violin. Even Sunita, Sunita Bhuyan, if you There are four ladies, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sunita Bhuyan is a violinist and a singer. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how they play and violin is supposed to be uh, a yeah. very tough instrument. Yeah, because right? it's no fret in that. Yeah, it's right. it's like just slide it. Right. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. So, what, what's been your journey so far and what's the plans going forward? Well, uh, as I said, um, <clears throat> um, uh, you know, in, in, in anybody's life there are turning points. So, uh, <laughs> for me, uh, singing was uh, something that I was doing. I never knew this, but my first recording was when I was four years old. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, my dad was posted. in. <laughs> Mother says I was a dancer before I could walk. Yeah, it was just a home thing because uh, we, my dad was posted in London right. and we were taught nursery rhymes. So okay. maybe I was singing it at home and my sister or brother, who cassette oh, player, okay. press kar diya. So it was hai kahi pe hai. Okay. And... Uh, and I still remember, I think it was 1978 or 79, we were still there and my, I was very small obviously and my sister, she came home crying from school and uh, I, that's, that's I'm talking about the turning points and I said, what happened? She said, Elvis Presley died. Oh, okay. So I said, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that was the first thing that I said, okay, he you know, he, right, he, right. and he can have such an impact. So that was one. And then obviously, I mean, in those years, uh, we used to have LPs. Yes. So even now, just a couple of days ago, I was hearing some BG songs and, you know, right. so those grooves started building up. Right. Uh, then once uh, he got an LP, uh, the, the cover was very attractive, I would say, for our age. It was a, a, a band called Love in C Minor. I know it had a very bassy right. kind of yeah, tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we grew up listening to all that. And obviously there was ABBA yeah. and there was Tina Charles. You know, all these singers were there right. and uh, and then suddenly when we came to India, All India Radio, pe, <laughs> uh, Subay Subay, right. Rafi or Kishore, that was a total change for yeah. me. But it was an amazing uh, listening to all that, you yeah. know, so that was a total contrast. And then uh, still uh, we would listen to Top of the Pops and, you know, right. uh, all these music performances. So right. uh, I would always watch them. And then these amazing artists that... Um, that came, you know, you have Wham, you have yeah. uh, the Eagles. Yeah. The second turning point, I would say, was a Beatles. Uh, yeah. My senior... Who's your favorite in the Indian context? Indian context, me, uh, though I've not heard, uh, obviously I've not been an ardent follower, but yes, I mean, if you're looking in the independent space, uh, obviously, I mean, Rafi Saab, Kishore, a lot... Um, you can't recognize half the voices, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, uh, Arjit is there, right. uh, then you have the Malik uh, uh, Ar Arman, and, and, and Arman. they are there. Um, uh, oh, and across there, obviously, there have been Shan, there's been Sonu Nigam, yeah. uh, there have been some other KK, uh, yes. you know, in that different space. Anybody from the current cloth that's influenced your singing style? Uh, it's, it's very hard to say because what happens is, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I really can't say at this point yeah. because, uh, as I say, as you <laughs> rightly said, yeah, I mean, I've tried to keep myself uh, yeah. to my own style right. uh, as much as possible. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's about So, why don't we hear a song of your mother new releases? Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. I'll sing Ye Din. I'm willing to hear this. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear it now yeah. or later? Yeah, no. let's hear this. Okay. So, I'll just give you a little brief about this album. Uh, every song, I mean, as of now, what the plan is that it should be, in, it will be in two versions. Right. One is the modern techno acoustic pop version, and then one version is like a old world kind or a okay. acoustic version. Because I remember there was this album of George Michael. It was called um, Songs from the Last Century. It was okay. one of my favorite albums. So the entire arrangement was with violins and you know clarinets and. All that. So it had a total old world charm. Nice. So maybe this song, it's Omide. So it probably is in that uh, space. So I'll sing a few lines. Kya 
तो पास है तेरी मेरी थोड़ी बातें हैं कुछ अधूरी मुलाकातें हैं क्या तो पास है हम तो चाहते हैं ये कहानियाँ चलती रहने दो ये नादानियाँ बस पीछे रहने दो वो परेशानियाँ आँखों में ही चलने दो सपनों को क्यों मुझको तुमसे उम्मीद है जाने क्यों है यूं लेके तक धीरे है क्यों मुझको तुमसे बस दिल में अपनी तस्वीरें हो तेरी मेरी बातें इतनी अच्छी क्यों लगती हैं कभी नहीं तो दूर हो जाना हमको सच्ची लगती है कहने को अब भी इतना है अपने दरमिया चलाऊ इन रस्तों में लेके तेरे ही मैर मान सवेरा है क्या तू पास है ओह हो माय गॉड इट्स सच अ सोलफुल सोलफुल ट्रैक यू नो आई रियली डोंट वांट टू से एनीथिंग आफ्टर दिस आई थिंक विद दिस वी शुड कॉल इट अ डे बट आई लव टू लीव दिस ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग लिल्टिंग इन योर माइंड्स एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज रिवाइंड बैक एंड सी इट अगेन अ Thank you so much for being here Sunil Thank you. and all the best for your future all the best with more music I think right. you got a beautiful sound a beautiful style uh just keep at it and you know I I think you should give all of it a shot because a lot of your music has uh that's the kind of sound that's missing today you know okay. I yeah I mean I have lots of tunes and yeah yeah, yeah I I have I think you should pursue it seriously because it you you've got the melodies it's beautiful Yeah let's 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 see how it goes yeah. All the best. thank you <laughs> thank, thank you so much